Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to look at uh, short put. Uh, so for the previous three uh, videos, we, we talk about long call, long put, uh, short call, and then this is the last one, short put, with the same example, Apple. Right, this is the payoff diagram of uh, short put with the x-axis uh, PNL and then the x-axis with the stock price. Right, for short. Uh, for short op, uh, positions, uh, we have a defined profit, and but uh, we have uh, unlimited uh, loss uh, theoretically. Right, this is a nigger put. So uh, as usual, we have two payoff diagram. One is uh, near expert at expression. The other one is. Uh, uh, the current payout diagram with the time value. I mean, the difference is the time value, and then this is the current one. This is like the expiration with the uh, the current one with have a more gentle gradient because it has intrinsic and extrinsic value. While the expiration graph only has intrinsic value, right? So uh, at the stock price is trading at one hundred forty five dollars. And then we enter a position, a short put position at hundred forty five dollars, which is a short, uh, which is a at the money, uh, short option. Uh, the total profit, sorry, this should be profit. The total profit is uh, uh, is eight hundred dollars because although the the contract is uh, has a premium of eight dollars, but uh, one contract represents hundred underlying. Uh, stocks so we have to times the hundred to get the total uh, profit uh, which is eight hundred dollars the pre-even price will be hundred thirty seven dollars because the sub price you have to minus the uh, the uh, the premium price to get the pre-even uh, price hundred thirty seven dollars so the max profit is eight hundred dollars while the max loss is unlimited okay as you can see so which means uh, which means if the stock were to uh, okay if you want to make any profit the stock price has to be uh, has to be more than hundred thirty seven dollars at expiration while if you were if the stock price were to go below hundred thirty seven dollars uh, you experience a loss so let us look at the uh, real example Uh, this is a uh, Apple stock as usual we have uh, uh, experienced uh, 97 days to expiration so we find the short put 100 for uh, 145 dollars so we just need one contract for simplicity sake we just use eight dollars Right, so we uh, analyze the trade. This is the when it's due. Okay. So this is the same graph as we uh, as I showed you just now. Uh, this is the 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 green one is at expiration graph, while the purple one is the current. A payoff diagram right so uh, so the break-even price for uh, for the current one will be is about hundred forty five dollars for current payoff while at expiration it has to be uh, it, it is hundred thirty seven dollars right the difference between the two is the premium that you paid right this is the uh, premium you collected So uh, the max profit will be eight hundred dollars, which is the uh, which is the green line, and while the um, well the loss is unlimited, theoretically. Right. So yeah. So this is a payoff diagram for the short put for Apple. Let's go back to the presentation. Right, so 
The next one would be uh, the Greeks, whether they have influence on the option price or what kind of influence would they have on, on, the, on the option price given the uh, few option Greeks. The delta measures the sensitivity to price uh, to the stock's price. It is a positive effect. Right. So, which means it profit from the increase in underlying price. So, which means if uh, if the if the option uh, if the if the apple price were to increase in stock price, so will the delta. And then uh, you will influence on the option price to increase as well. Or for data. Uh, or the data uh, you have a positive relationship as well because it's a short uh, short position so which means you are a seller uh, data is the is seller's best friend so you will tend uh, so you will profit out over time as uh, time decay kicks in while for figure it's a negative relationship uh, because the option price only profit when there's a decrease in volatility while if there is there is a increase in volatility uh, the, the option price will suffer a loss all right so yeah so that's all for uh, short put uh, hope you like it